Hey friends, welcome back to my kitchen. Today I am going to share another way that I like to use the egg white bread recipe. I shared a video on it a couple weeks ago and a lot of you expressed interest in hearing how I use the dough for pizza and for hot pocket type meals. I'm gonna be mixing up one batch of the recipe. I don't know if I should call it batter or dough because neither of those really fit what it is. It's very unique like meringue or like angel food cake. But I'm gonna be mixing up one batch and I'm gonna make one pizza out of it and then use the rest for a couple different styles of Hot Pockets and little pizza buns that we've been enjoying. I've gone into great detail about how to mix up the mixture and given a lot of tips about how to get a good result with mixing up the mixture in two videos, my first video on the egg white bread and then the second tips video. So I will put those up in the cards if you need any tips on that. And in this video, I'm just gonna mix it up real quick and then we'll get to the pizza making. The ingredients are 12 egg whites or almost one and a half cups, half a teaspoon of cream of tartar, half a teaspoon of salt, a fourth of a cup of allulose, and one cup of egg white protein powder. I'm gonna go ahead and put my oven on 325 and let that start preheating. I'm gonna do a big pizza on here, and then I'm gonna do some pizza buns in my silicone pan. Then I'm also gonna show you how to do some like free form hot pocket pizza pocket style. I'm gonna do the big pizza first because when I do a big pizza, I like to pre-bake the crust just a little bit, so like par-bake it, and that helps like spreading out the sauce and stuff, trying to spread sauce onto this fluffy meringue stuff um, is a little bit difficult but when I do the pizza pockets I don't worry about that because you're not doing as much spreading it's mostly just throwing it on there so I'm just spreading this out as thin as I want my pizza again it doesn't rise very much um, it's already got its rise and its air from the whipping so it's not gonna it's not gonna puff up very big so you can kind of make it as thin or as thick as you like it and i didn't worry about spraying my silicone liner i got a tip from a couple of you guys that said that using the silicone pans actually works better if you don't spray them and i tried it and it worked great so i'm not even worrying about adding that step anymore all right it's not perfectly round but it'll make a delicious pizza so I'd say I have it about half an inch thick. That would be my guess. And I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in the oven for about 10 minutes. Now onto the pizza buns. The first step is just getting these kind of half filled because you're gonna just fill the bottom, then put in the toppings, and then add more on the top. And adding more on the top is totally optional. You could just make little mini pizzas like this as well. So I have tried getting fancy with this and getting out a big piping bag and piping things so it looks nice. And it does look nice, but this batter or dough, <laughs> um, it needs to be used really fast because it starts deflating if you don't get it in the oven quickly. So I found that it was the most timely to just use a spoon and spread it out. It doesn't look as perfect, but it still tastes just as good. So for my sauce, I'm just using a canned organic tomato sauce with some Italian seasoning, garlic powder, onion powder, and salt. And I just put probably a tablespoon and a half to two tablespoons in each of the wells here. Now a big sprinkle of cheese in each one. Probably, again, about two tablespoons, maybe a little bit more. Now for the pepperoni. If you have other things you wanna add, like bell peppers or olives or anything like that, add it before the pepperoni, because putting a layer of pepperoni like this makes it easy to put the other layer of egg white bread on top. So it's a nice thing to end with. Now I'm gonna carefully try to put a top on each one of these and 
you do, it doesn't have to be perfect. If there's stuff peeking out, it'll, it'll work out fine. So this technique would be great with all different kinds of fillings. I'm thinking like sloppy joe filling or barbecue chicken. Of course, all number of kinds of pizzas you could do. Maybe like a chicken Alfredo type filling would be delicious. So many options. This last step is optional, but it makes the flavor so good. It just takes these over the top. I'm just going to add a sprinkle of Parmesan cheese and a sprinkle of Italian seasoning on the top of each one of these. It kind of makes it like the Italian herb and cheese bread at Subway. It's really good. You can do this with um, just regular egg white bread buns. It makes them super, super good. And just a sprinkle. And these are ready to go into the oven. I will time how long it takes to cook. Usually I just watch it and pull it out when it looks done, uh, but I will try to give you an exact time that I use. The timer just beeped for my pizza dough, so I'm going to pull that out and get it going and pop this right in here. I like to put my rack a little bit higher than the middle. I want the top to get nice and browned before the bottom gets too browned. My dough is fading fast here. It's starting to get deflated, so I'm gonna to try to make these hot pockets as quickly as possible. So I'm just putting a dollop on and just shaping it kind of into a rectangle, like a hot pocket would be, and that's gonna be my base. I think I'll be able to make two. Now, same thing as before, just adding the sauce and all the toppings. Lots of cheese. These are bigger than the other ones, so maybe close to a, a quarter cup of cheese in these ones. For the pepperoni, I kind of like to line it up right in the middle like this and get a lot in there. Okay, now to add our top as carefully as possible. You can kind of fold up the edges if that works. I'm trying to make these as rectangular as possible, but it's not gonna be perfect. When I used the piping bag, I could get them pretty rectangular, but it just took too long. Again, I'm gonna add Parmesan and Italian seasoning. Just makes them perfect. This kind of reminds me of the um, chicken bakes from Costco, do you guys ever have those? I haven't had them for years, but they have these in the freezer section and they got chicken and I don't remember what else inside, probably cheese. And they have a nice crust on the top, I think with cheese on the top, very similar to this. All right, these are ready to go in the oven now. Now back to the big pizza. We're gonna get this sauce spread out and just do all the same things that we just did with the other pizza pockets. You can decorate it however you like. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite pizza toppings are. It seems like all of my kids have different preferences. They each have their own kind of pizza and pizza topping that they like. And the great thing about pizza is it's easy to make separate for each person, so it works out great. A little bit of a Parmesan sprinkle on the top. 
I'm gonna wait for the pizza pockets to finish cooking before I finish baking this because I want the pan to be high enough in the oven that the bottom doesn't get too brown too fast. That's one thing about using the silicone liners and silicone pans. I think the anything that's touching the silicone actually cooks a little bit faster and gets a little bit browner than the other. It's nice that this though is par-baked and so I don't have to worry about it deflating like I would if it was just still dough. These ones have been going for about 10 minutes still not close to done. I'm right at 28 minutes and I'm gonna go ahead and pull these out. They look pretty done to me. Got some liquid seepage here. I'll wipe that up. I think it's mostly cheese actually, cheese and sauce. And I'm gonna let these cool a little bit in the pan before I try to remove them. I think if I try to remove them now, they'll be too gushy and make a mess. Now we can fit this in here. These hot pockets took about um, 30 minutes and they're getting pretty brown on the bottom. So definitely need to take those out. So for both types, it was about 28 to 30 minutes. So if you shape these into like a crescent shape, you could totally call them calzones. I was thinking about how this egg white bread um, browns so fast and so easily, whoops. And I was um, remembering, of course, you put egg wash on baked goods in order to get it to brown nicely. So of course I already should have known that it browns so easily. Pizza has been cooking for 18 minutes and I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out. I don't want the bottom to get too brown. If you like the top of your pizza to be super crispy, you could put it under the broiler, but I would recommend using maybe um, foil instead of the silicone mat. I don't know if those are safe under the broiler. You can see that just one batch of the bread dough makes a lot of food when you're talking about pizzas. You can make two pizzas this size and you can see I have one giant pizza plus six smaller buns and two large buns. So you could probably make eight smaller buns or five larger calzone pizza pockets plus a whole pizza. What I also love about using this kind of dough for pizza is that Pizza typically has a lot of heavy toppings like cheese and meat, pepperoni, a lot of greasy stuff. And a lot of the low carb uh, pizza dough options have a lot of cheese in them also, have a lot of fat in them. And so it just ends up being way too heavy, too much, too calorie dense. Uh, but when you use the egg white pizza crust, not only does it taste really good, but it's really light and it's the kind of crust that you want to have when you have a lot of heavy toppings. The pizza pockets and buns do save really well. The pizza does also. They make super easy lunches for my husband to take and he will eat them cold, just like you'd eat cold pizza the next day. And it just is so convenient to throw a few of those in his lunchbox and he's good to go. So one of my pet peeves is when people who make low carb recipes or low carb substitutes of things, when they say, oh man, it tastes just as good as the original, or I couldn't even tell the difference between cauliflower rice and regular rice, or spaghetti squash tastes just like pasta. As soon as I hear uh, people say that, I think, well, I can't trust anything you say anymore. So I am not gonna sit here and tell you that these taste exactly like pizza, exactly like Hot Pockets, or that you won't tell the difference between this crust and a regular crust. But I will say that for a low carb substitute, it is very tasty. The texture of the crust is very bready, so it's not you're not gonna get the very crispy type of crust that you would normally get with a pizza. So you might wanna think of it more like a French bread pizza where it's just very bready. And that's another reason that I really like putting the cheese on the top because that crisps up and then you get a little bit of a crispy crunch even though the crust doesn't deliver that itself. You can see even without any oil, this comes right off of the silicone liner. And it looks nice and golden, but not too brown. Just perfect. Here's a quick cross section of these. Yum. So the bread doesn't poof up, you know, as much as bread, but that's not really what you want in one of these anyway. You want it to be a little bit flat, kind of like how Hot Pockets are. I should have cut this open when it was still really hot because then the cheese would have gooed out and it would have been picture perfect. And one of these. Delicious. Mm. 
So even my kids enjoy this pizza. They would be the first to say that they would prefer one with real crust. But uh, if this is available, and if there's none with real crust available, they will definitely eat this, which they don't do with just the plain egg white bread. They've tried it and they don't mind it, but it's not what they pick up and choose if they have the choice. Hey, Jerry, do you want to taste some pizza? I found a frog in the basement. What? And I caught it with a bucket over it. How big is it? It's a tree frog. Aww. And you want to put it in the little cage? The little with the blue lid? Do you want to come try um, some pizza first? Sure. Do you want to try a pizza pocket or a, just the flat pizza? I like the flat pizza. Okay. Charity's ready to be my taste tester. Are you excited or nervous? Or both? I am both. Both. You've tasted this before, so I know, I you, know. I know you like it. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Tastes like normal pizza. Mm -hmm. Oh, it tastes just as good as normal pizza? Are you serious? It tastes as good, but it doesn't taste the same. <laughs> oh, it tastes as good, but not the same. Okay. So, how many thumbs up do you give it? Eight. Eight? Mm -hmm. Is that good? Eight yes. out of how many? Ten. Eight out of ten? Okay, that's good. She's still eating it. Let me know if there's anything else using the egg white bread dough that you would like me to try out. I think Maria Emmerich has like cinnamon rolls. You could also do like sloppy joe pockets, barbecue chicken, something like that. Or if there's something else that you can think of to do with the egg white bread dough, let me know and I might do a video on it. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.